Padmashri warrior. She is considered as one of the most powerful women in Silicon Valley, starting her career at Motorola 3 decades ago, overseeing the rise of the famous Motorola Razer flip phone. In March 2008, she became Cisco's first CTO, personally recruited by Chairman John Chambers. Now, after 7 years at Cisco, she shifted gears entirely. She took a job at Chinese electric car startup Next EV, aiming to take on the auto industry. So I announced I was leaving Cisco in June. I actually left Cisco in September. I left on September 15. I considered lots of CEO roles, you know, big companies, small companies, startups. I considered venture capital, being a partner at a VC firm because I was doing investments at Cisco. Um, I looked at bigger companies. I literally looked at every option, and you know, they're all great opportunities, great companies. But what ultimately, what I was really passionate about is really taking on a big challenge. So I was looking for. a startup and a startup with the mission to have a big impact in in some area applying technology where i can build something from the ground up and make it big right you know i have a lot of experience scaling things uh, but i wanted to experience starting something and taking it to scale um so when i came across next tv i felt like this is a big problem you know that exists about pollution and cars being a big factor in that and how can we apply technology to change that and so that's what attracted me to them she was born into a telugu brahmin family warrior received a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from indian institute of technology delhi in 1982 she holds a master's degree in chemical engineering from cornell university the economic times ranked warrior as the 11th most influential global indian In 2001 she was one of the 6 women nationwide selected to receive the Women Elevating Science and Technology Award from Working Women magazine as of 2014 she is listed as the 71st most powerful woman in the world by Forbes thank you in 5 minutes